So like random dot random. And then we run something like so to give some number over there. That's P and six. Okay. So then we get the answers accordingly, right? Apart from this, what we can do more is sometimes we even write random dot random to get just a number over there within one and zero. Sorry, zero and one. Right? It's a random number. Okay. Similar to this, we are going to write date time. This is a very good library. Okay. So I'll say that uh, let's say we want current, current one. So I'll say from the date time, go and bring the date time of now. Okay. Understood? Like random dot random, simply. From the date time package, bring the date time function, and from there go with the now one, right? That is current one. And this print. Current. So what I get is 2029, 20, 29, 19, 23, 31, and then the things over there. Right? So what are the things? Hour, minute, seconds, and microseconds. Okay? That being the things. That is how it is defined. Okay, a any doubts in, in understanding those things? No, sir. Cool. Right. So there can be various formats of writing up uh, for your, uh, right? That is like for the years like if you want to print it some in some different versions so there are a lot of versions like if you want it and uh, uh, printing it as the week month and all right like the what is that today's day tuesday what is that tuesday yeah. so like to get that uh, week name weekday uh, something like that tuesday and all right you can simply write it that like uh, 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 from this you can write print current um, current dot there's a function called as str of time okay and from this you can say percent a you get it when does it? yeah so Tuesday today okay like if you want the full version right so you can make it capital A Tuesday. Okay. If you want the week number, week number could be there. Week number is two, zero. Sunday, starting from zero, if you say. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Okay. Zero, one, two. Okay. Like if you want the month name, you can take B. September. Full month name. It ends capital B. Right? Year, which year is going up there now? 2020. Right? So, at the short, you can take just M. So, this is for the month, right? Y for the year. One full year. You can take capital Y. So, only you need to remember the small ones. For the capital, you just need to write at the capital cases, our cases. Okay, so uh, that can be done. Uh, the time zone you are using up, that's important. Like which time zone you are in. Oops, okay, what is that? Hmm. Okay. Uh, Alright, that's not doing STRP of time. Let's take two arguments. And I'm navigating the time zone. Okay, fine. We'll go on this. Something is there. Okay, great. Let's move ahead. Right. In case now you must be having, like you might be having, not must, <laughs> you might be having a doubt that why exactly we are going to write 
why we are just printing the date and time at once why we cannot go for only date or like with only time so if you want to know about only date only the date what you can take like if you want only from the random if you want random what do you do random not random simply if you want the date only you can just say print it time dot date and if you want today's date obviously you are going to write today that is 29 9 2020 okay and like if you want to go with a different version of printing you can take something uh, uh, different from that uh, like uh, you can take as x or y let's say as the same what i did in the above one okay and then you can write y dot str of time the string of a time particularly right so uh, let's give you like how we used to write 9 20 and 20 not exactly like this 20 and 9 and 20 okay so uh, you can change your own methods and you can get your things accordingly so we get a local version thing in, in the previous one if you could see that is called as a local version of a date and at a time okay so uh, you can write up the things according to you there can be various ways to write like month name and all so like in place of x if you say you want a date okay like uh, let's say d for the date person d and then you say you want the month name right so uh, for the month name like if you want the full name you can write capital b and for the year you can take the year 2020 and that can be capital y to get the things 29 september 2020 so don't give this all like this okay so there can be various ways of writing other things right okay moving ahead now uh, we can use a function to get all the attributes of a model module if you're working with random what you can do is you can use the directory model for random if you're working you can use the random so all these functions are there in the random all these things random 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 example seeds etc okay working with string all these functions are there for the string however if any other method you don't find on the internet you can just easily check on the things whatever there is in the python for the string is there here it is okay all the methods for the tuple all the methods only two other mostly the count and the index okay same with this if you are working with a date time module we can just write date time to get the things you have to import that so we have date we have date time we have date time cpi we have sys we have time we have delta time zone and tz info tz info is nothing but the time zone info okay so you can get everything from this directory function all right so as to get the answers so if you run this accordingly like print all these things i'll get a list of the things max your mini your bulletins and all right so common used classes here is the date class time class time data class okay now uh, you have seen that till now i was being doing like today now and all right but how to get a like specific date and all right to print a very specific date that's being very easy what you can do is
update time. Uh, for every time you don't need to do this. You can just try it from the date time. You want to print a date. And now as you don't want a current date, you can write your own date, right? If you want a current date, you can use now and today and all. Okay? Not now, it's today. So let's say we want to print 2020 first of all, like your name should be there, like however the syntax is this, okay? Then what do you have? You see the things, year, then the month, then the date. So let's say April 10. So 2024-10. Okay, that's how we run this. You can take it there. Or otherwise you can import it like like we do from random import something and all similarly from date time you can just simply import date you can write date of right date time for now so give a variable to this Otherwise, it will give you a function. Yeah, 3, 24, and 10. Okay. So that's the expected results and how we will be getting it there. Uh, okay. That's nice. If you want to calculate the uh, like days and all between two dates, right? Also, we'll go to that. So, uh, Let's see if you get a current date. If I get to this current date, you get everything related to the dates, the current one, right? So you can get a comma 2029, 20, 29, 19, 27, 3, and then 3, 7, 7, 5, 9, 4. What are these things? So first is the year, then the month, then the date, then the hour, then the minute, then the second, and then the microsecond. That's a complete set of a date time. Okay, starting from the year till the microseconds. So like if you want just the year, so you can just write current dot year. It's very twenty. Current dot microsecond. This is the result. Current dot second okay like you can write further the hour the minutes and all the day the month that's the thing okay so that's it's all about the date now comes to the time coming to the time right so here you get a local time first of all as for your pc how it's being set over there okay uh, so uh, we have seen that how we can just write up a date and how we can get it there, right? But what about the time? How to write the time and how to get the time even? So as you can see, you can write time, uh, like you can go for the minutes, you can go for the seconds, you can go for the hours and uh, basically for everything you want from there. So you can also go for like date time, dot time. And then you can write your times. So, format is hour, minute, and second. Okay. Let's say uh, like uh, 17, 23 minutes, and that's it. Okay. So, this will be 17, 23 only because there's zero seconds. Seventeen twenty, right? Meanwhile, you can give uh, like parameters if you want, like uh, you can take R.
So you can 5, 15, 56 point zero 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 four seven four three. Okay, and then you can run to get the hour, minute, microsecond, time, seconds and all. Okay. More things can be done there, like if you run over there and you'll be getting the same things respectively. Think NumPy would be clear to you. We'll be solving questions on NumPy today. Uh, how to see the difference between uh, two dates? Oh. Okay. Let's say you have two dates. Uh, race ready. Nine. And let's say you have two dates, twenty and twenty-nine of September. Okay. So you might you might be giving D one and D two. So D one and D two will be like let me write up the dates and all. So D1 would be a date, first date, second. The difference between the date would be Nine days, no time because you don't want time, only the date. So, the results are there. Nine days and no time. And, like, if you have time, so let's say time would be uh, four to six, let's say. Right, 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. So it will be 16 0 0. Second one minus the first. the complete date time. Uh, object not possible. Is that due to the microsecond? In the date time, we'll have to write everything. Yeah. What is the end? Three, three, one, two, three, four, five, six. I think one is extra. Three more is every function tab. Still, still, still getting the errors. Year, month, day, hour, minute, second.
any mistakes good to clear Well, you said there should be a bracket. Mm -hmm. Import. Bracket, bracket. Oh, there are 56 line from date time import. Bracket, date, comma, time. Bracket close. This is that. 56, sir. Yeah, from date. Oh, okay, okay. All right, let's, let's see if I can import. Right in time. Something is invalid still. Eight time. Date time. Year. Month. Day. Oh. What is not available? Okay. See, let's try. I think. Not written here, that's the mistake. Oof. I think again I have it. Again. Is there any results of oh, T one and T two done? T2 minus T1 in the results possibly nine days and two hours. Yeah, no, it's okay. Okay, let's make over there. Uh, and the time zone TZ info, whatever you have seen over there, that is like the time zones for various places. Different different places have their different time zones accordingly that is being used. Okay, and two functions we use str of strf of time and strp of time. So these are the formats of the date time because you used string there. Okay, so these are the formats of the time or date time you can say. Okay, so strf of f okay strf f method is defined uh, for like time date times and date okay and this takes exactly one parameter only and strp of p takes two parameters that's the major difference and the major uh, uh, mistakes we can do up strf you have seen till now i was working with that let's see the strp of time how it works Okay, so as I say, that works on the string. So, this 
so let's say your date is equals to Ninth September two thousand and twenty. Okay, so that's my date. What I can do is I can say from this string convert this to a date. Is there okay? Date is also mentioned. Why September is not mentioning? Stands for capital things. It's lack of time. Wait, it is this and oh, 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 we haven't put the comma over here. So this is 2029, 20, 29, and the zero time. Okay, so that's a format mistake over there. Right, so time zones, let's see about the time zones. For that, we'll have to import the thing. All right, so that is, we'll have to import P, Y, T, Z, the Python time zones. Okay, so for your nearby time zones, local time zones for your machines and all, Get the results accordingly. Okay, this is the uh, time zone of the local time you can say. Right now, if I say print now. So, uh, M and the Y nine twenty nine twenty. If you want to know the uh, the time zones, you can get DIR of this PYTZ and all the things are the time zone. So all these things comes inside the time zones. Okay. All these things, right? You can take the function to call the things. Uh, okay. Ah, uh, 
for the time zone let's say you want the time zone over there for any other country let's say for uh, london okay so time zone of london would be pytz dot the time zone and as we know that London comes in the europe we'll say europe slash where london so London time zone would be this LMT twenty three fifty nine twenty sorry zero. It's almost going to be twenty four. We need to start up with one again. Okay. So that's being the thing. How you uh, work up with the date time modules? Okay. That is the one basic important thing when you work with the date times. Things to you to remember are these things. Okay. Think that is clear. Having any doubts in the date time? No, sir. Okay. Same goes with the calendar, and what more you can do is you can just go for writing health, anything, and you can go to this links to find out much in the detail. Okay. So uh, practice the questions given in the assignment for the read time seven, okay, right. So uh, what about the 